Two brothers who were the best of friends. Corey and Casper Platt May were just six and two years old. Their mum has paid tribute to her sons, calling them amazing and cheeky. Apparently, Corey was passionate about football and Casper loved jumping in puddles in his wellies. All day, a constant stream of families have come here to the spot where they die to leave flowers, notes and tributes. Everyone is visibly shaken, none more so than the boy's grandfather. My grandsons were lovely, very kind-hearted, lovely, do anything for you. Heart and soul, they were lovely. And that life's just taken away at a young age and it's just, it's just not on. The boys had been walking to the park with their mum and two aunts when they were hit by a car which didn't stop. Their aunts say it all happened so quickly. It took me a few seconds to realise what had happened. It wasn't until Louise, the mother, started screaming and that's when we knew what something had happened, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it just all happened in an instant. And Tia took the kids to the side of the road. Louise ran to Casper and I ran to Corey. Both boys were taken to hospital, but neither could be saved. They leave behind two other young brothers, aged four and eight. How will you remember them? Happy, bubbly, yeah, yeah. cheeky, yeah. <laughs> want to play football, nagging us to go play outside. That's the best way to remember them. I'll be proud to see you, Mum. The family have lived in this area for 20 years. It's a close-knit community and everyone here is in total disbelief. My daughter goes to Ravensdale, the same school as what the boys go to, so I tend to see Louise and the boys like, every morning um, around the school and so yeah, it's just absolutely heartbreaking. I mean, this, everybody's just saying how lovely they were yeah. and what a close family they were, so everybody just wants to come and pay their respects and let the family know that we're all thinking yeah, of them. The police are still investigating what happened. The community are trying to come to terms with it. The loss of these brothers will be felt for a long time.